today I'm reviewing the Versed Auto Save Advanced Restoring Serum. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsb.com, join Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, so Versed, they've got some nice products. They're all pretty darn affordable. They're getting a little bit, this one's a little bit more expensive than a lot of their other stuff. But um, anyway, okay, so. Loss of firmness, question mark. Seeing dark spots, question mark. Feeling dull, question mark. Look no further. Especially made for daytime use and, a, and as the perfect complement to your evening products, this advanced restoring serum actively defends against key signs of aging as you go about your day while working to correct past damage. Blend of microalgae delivers an instant 24-hour lift to even the most tired complexions while powerful antioxidants Fight off free rackles and enhance your sunscreen's protective abilities. So, nice. I like how they mentioned uh, it works well. I meant They mentioned antioxidants. Awesome. They mentioned using it on your sunscreen. Great. Um, okay, so my first criteria is packaging. Uh, no issues with the packaging, although they do mention uh, it's made with 50% uh, recycled plastic. So, that's nice. Um and then this, I think they have directions on how to recycle it too. So we'll figure that out when we get there. But anyway, so it should be recyclable and it's made with recycled plastic. Um, although a lot of plastic isn't like even really great for recycling. So I don't know what happens to all that, but anyway. Okay, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does contain T-butyl alcohol. However, it's towards the very end of the ingredient list. So it's not typically not going to be a concern for most people if it'd been like one of the top ingredients, it might be a little bit more of an issue, but for most people, it's not going to be an issue. Um, in terms of fragrance, it has no fragrance ingredients. However, um, a lot of people in their reviews complain about it having a slight smoky scent to it, uh, but that fades uh, pretty darn quickly. I didn't really notice that much of a scent to it at all, So, but there was more than one review that pointed out a smoky scent. I just didn't pick up on it, so... Normally, I'm pretty sensitive, so. Um, and then it also does contain rosemary leaf extract, but that more of an antioxidant than if it were rosemary leaf oil, that would be more of a fragrance ingredient. Um, in terms of the manufacturing location, this one's made in the U.S., so no issues with that. So uh, ease of use, they recommend applying two pumps onto clean, almost dry skin. Let it sink in. Sorry. Oh, where is it? Oh, come on. There we go. It does have like a little bit of a pinkish color to it, which I actually kind of like it, which works well with their uh, moisturizer. I think it's their auto recovery moisturizer. Um, so, so they say let it sink in for a minute and then uh, onto your next skincare product. And you can use it face and neck, your chest, morning, evening, after cleansing. Uh, let's see. And then they say press it into skin, don't rub it. Rubbing uh, can pull and tug on the skin. I don't know. I just, I guess I don't really think about how I apply it, but um, I found it smooths into skin nicely, sets to a nice matte finish. And I found uh, two pumps is a little bit much. One pump typically does it for me. So um, there we go. Absorbs pretty quickly, and then the finish on it's pretty natural. Doesn't look shiny, doesn't look matte, and it's not on the non sticky side. So there we go. Uh, okay, in terms of antioxidants and beneficial ingredients, so right off the bat, we've got tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate, which is a vitamin C derivative, which may have antioxidant properties. More testing should be done, in my opinion, on that. We've got shea butter, which is an emollient and antioxidant. We've got red algae extract, which is that algae they mentioned at the beginning, um, has skin protecting properties as well as antioxidant properties. We've got fluoritin, which is a flavonoid substance derived from apples in the bark of apple trees. Um, research has shown that its antioxidant abilities can improve the look of uneven skin tone. We've got ferulic acid, which is another good antioxidant. Ferulic acid is great. It helps with photo protection. It's great when you use it in a, sun, or a vitamin C serum, and it also will help your skin protect itself from sun damage and things like that. Then we've got pololon, which is a polysaccharide polymer that has a film-forming uh, ingredient. We've got seawater, which is a humectant. We've got squalane, which is a skin-identical ingredient, an antioxidant. Uh, then we've got vitamin E, which is a good antioxidant and hydrating ingredient. We've got sunflower extract, which is a humectant and emollient. 
We've got aloe juice, which is a skin soothing and hydrating ingredient. We've got rice bran extract, which is a good skin protecting ingredient. We've got panthenol, which is skin soothing, licorice root, which is also skin soothing as well as skin brightening. And then finally, glucose, which is a sugar humectant. So a really nice list of beneficial ingredients, antioxidants, brightening ingredients. Uh, the only thing we're missing in this was niacinamide and uh, sodium hyaluronate. So, oh, well, I've got sodium hyaluronate. I guess we're only missing niacinamide then. First product I review that doesn't have niacinamide in a while. Okay, in terms of animal testing, uh, this is vegan, cruelty-free, and they also mentioned pregnancy safe. So that's nice that they mentioned that. Uh, okay, in terms of performance, I really like it. It's got kind of a creamy texture. It's not like a liquidy serum. It almost, it feels almost like a serum moisturizer, like cross, cross between the both of them. Um, really does a nice job making skin feel hydrated and soft. And uh, found it helps a bit with brightening, which is a little bit of a bonus. Uh, I'd recommend this as a morning serum. If you're going to pick one morning or evening, morning uh, because of the inclusion of antioxidants such as the ferulic acid, which help your sunscreen work better. Uh, and then it's pretty friendly for most skin types. It contains a few acneogenic ingredients. We've got squalane, vitamin E, and then sorbitol and isosterate. So three acneogenic ingredients, and uh, most of those are not super acne-prone, acneogenic. Uh, okay, in terms of the price, so this is a full size, which is one ounce, 30 milliliters, and retails for $24. Makes it pretty affordable, although it's getting toward the very bottom of this bottle now, and it went pretty pretty fast. Um, 30 milliliters, one ounce, $24. It went pretty fast. So I'd say this is barely enough for a month uh, use. So $24 still not ridiculously expensive. It's not uh, $9 or like cheap, but yeah. There we go. Um, in terms of the it factor, aside from the smoky scent, uh, the serum works well for myself. I think it'll work well for a lot of people. Uh, if you're very sensitive to scents, keep that in mind because more than one pe person mentioned that smoky scent. It's there. It's very, very light. I didn't really notice it too much. So aside from that, it's going to be pretty friendly for most people. Uh, has everything else going for it. It's got a nice formula with antioxidants. It's affordable. It's cruelty free. It's pretty well packaged. Uh, so this one has a lot to like about it, aside from that smoky scent. Which, to be honest, I don't know if I could even pick out which ingredient could be the cause of it. I, I'm not exactly certain, so I don't know. I'm trying to see. I don't know. There we, maybe it's the ferulic acid. Anyway. Okay, so out of a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 10. Uh, definitely worth checking out. And interested in hearing from you guys if you had a chance to check this one out yet or not, or... Uh, anything else from Versed? Uh, what have you loved? What have you hated? Leave a comment. If you haven't tried their sunscreen, you should check it out. It's really nice, and they just came out with a large version of it, too. So anyway, leave a comment. Love hearing from you, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.